So one of the most important tools you will need is a canvas wig head. This is actually better than any other wig head that you would need. This is great for not just making standard handmade wigs. This is also a great canvas block to use for making lace units as well. Lace closures, 360s, and all of that. This one happens to be a 22 inch circumference uh, canvas head. Uh, the standard is 22 or 22.5. I think the highest that this goes is 24 inches in circumference. I prefer to use the 22 because it allows for someone with a small head. I can use an elastic band for installation for them or if someone who just has a little bit of a larger head, they are able to wear their wigs a little bit more snug without using any elastic bands or anything for cloak for installations. Then you would need a clamp, a wig head stand. I have one that actually stands separate from um, using the edge of a table or anything. It's just a wig head stand, but this one is great. It's affordable. You can go anywhere with it and it actually stands your canvas head on top so that you're able to make your wigs other important tools thread cotton thread or um synthetic threads are fine doesn't matter they have them in other colors there's black there's blonde and there's brown um i use black the most because most hair uh wigs that i do make our black weaving here so you'll have three needles you only really need one but i do offer a kit a wig making 101 kit and it has three in here for those who like to prepare all of their th their threading or their needles before they start sewing these are t-pins these t-pins help to hold your wig head well not your wig head but they actually help to hold your lace, like your Swiss lace and your um, wig caps in place as you are hand sewing your wigs on. So that's what these T-pins are for. And in the kit, there's about 10 of them. I think I have about 13, but there's about 10 of them in the kit because you really don't need any more than that. And then there are different wig caps that is most common when it comes to making wigs the most uh the newest one or the newest trended one is using the braided wig caps and mainly because they're going away from doing weaves where you would braid a person's hair and actually attach by sewing the uh, weaving hair onto their braids well in this case they have a cap actually made for that so you can take the wig off and put it on and still care for your hair another one that was popular before the braided is the dome cap and actually the dome cap did not have this breathable mesh to it but in my kit i have the breathable mesh for you because this is really good for your air for your hair to breathe your scalp to breathe and everything like that and it's really good for dry time when you wash your wigs so this is actually a mesh dome cap the other dome caps actually looked like this this was the original ones and this is ones that you can use for glue for glue and hot glue gun wigs but this is not included in the kit for the wig making one wig, wig making 101 and then the most common or the first starting off one and we call these like the manufactured uh wig caps you normally see this kind of style with uh manufactured wigs that have the tracks sewn onto the cap it looks like this it usually has ear tabs and things like that and then it'll have elastic bands on it for adjustability so that it can fit just about a smaller head because all of them come in an average size of 22 to 22.5 inches uh, circumference for the head. So these are three major wig caps that are included in the kit. You will learn how to use all three of them because this is the most, this is the, was the beginning use or we call this the grandfather or the grandmother of wig making caps. Then there was the dome cap. Now they have it in the mesh. And then here we are with the braided, which makes it a lot easier for beginners as well. So again, all of these tools come in the Wig Making 101 kit. The first class starts April 15th. You can check that out on the website, wigmaking101.com. 
and I will see you guys in the next video. So these are just a few of the video courses that will be included with the webinars for the first set of wig making courses, which is module one. To sign up, just go to the website, enroll, and register for a single master course, or you can have all accesses with full tuition or monthly installments for $69 a month. You can also purchase the wig making kits and supplies under the shop tools as well. The first live chat course starts April 15th, but you can register at any time. Videos will always be there so that you will be able to access them as soon as you register. If you have any questions, you can contact me at the email listed and I will be glad to help you. I'll see you guys in the next video.